everybody, it is Matthew here. So here's the long version. I'm sorry um, it's uploaded late. I just did not have any time. Um, but here it is. Um, it's just a day late. But the exits are... Um, I can't remember them. Um, the, oh yeah, the exits are Trouble, Icky as I Love Between Jennifer Hudson. I really, really do like that song, but it's just way too low on Billboard charts. And also King Kunta by Kendrick Lamar. It did go up like by five, I think, but... I don't know, I just didn't feel like it serves to be on my list like right now. I don't know why I put it on last week, but I just think I think it could be back on later, but I just I just didn't think it should be on. Uh, so here's my top twenty. Ain't nobody love, ain't nobody love like you do. So yeah, this is very lucky to still be on here because it just did the same on double charts, but when I saw that, I was, like, finding songs to replace it, um, but I did not really find anything to really replace the song, so it's very lucky to still be on here. Um, hopefully, it'll go up next week. We'll have to see. Ain't nobody love, ain't nobody love like you, ooh, 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 ooh. ain't nobody love, ain't <laughs> For quite a bit now, but really hasn't started gaining popularity again until now. Um, basically because Furious Seven soundtrack is basically why. Um, also, um, it did go up on Billboard charts, and it's a new entry. It's my first new entry, so I I do really like the song. It's really catchy. It could definitely be the next turn down for what for sure. It's very catchy. Um, I do love this song. Um, but it's not that high on Billboard charts. When it gets a little bit higher, yeah, it's going to go up. Um, hopefully it does. So, yeah. Let's have a very nasty fall. Um, so it only went down by two. But the reason it did go down is because, I don't know, the song hasn't really been growing on me that much, like, it grew on me, like, a couple weeks ago, for sure. But now, I don't know, like, I don't really know, I just don't, I think it's just gonna be going off my list, because I don't really think it deserves to be on my list right at this point. Um, so I'm just gonna take it off my list slowly, um, next week it should probably be gone, so yeah. She's on fire, she's so hot, 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 she's rising pretty a lot on billboard charts i was like i actually do kind of like this song so i did i do think it deserves to be on my list um 17 is a pretty good um start for a new entry um i think it's probably gonna go up on billboard charts but i don't know how much because country songs really never do that good on billboard charts like some do but not necessarily like top 10 so yeah I still really, really, really do like this song. That's why it's on my list. Somebody at home, and if I stay, I might not leave alone. No, honey, I'm good. I can have another, but I probably should not. I got... This song's been number 20 on Billboard charts forever. Um, but yeah, it did go down um, just because it did stay the same. Um, it could have definitely stayed the same on mine, but you know, some songs have frozen a little bit. So I, I'll tell you um, what it is later because there's a couple songs that had lots of big rises. Like, this is very, it's not that big for like new entries, but. So many songs are going up and so many songs are falling. Like Time for Lives, that had a humongous fall. So yeah. Now if we're talking about it, you got a perfect one, so put it on me. Wow, the 
song has been on here for seven weeks and the peak is only 15. Oh well, but it's still going up on Billboard charts. It's still going up, so it hasn't, it doesn't look like it's going to be going down any soon. It's just, the song just keep going up and up and up. So yeah, it's definitely going to go up a mine for sure. And when it reaches top 20, this could definitely be top 10 on mine. So we'll have to see. So yeah, this song is pretty much, um, I don't know if it's going to be going, like, out of my list any soon. Like, I, it might, because Billboard Shirts, it's kind of, it's really been around the 25, 30 range for quite a bit now. So, it's kind of, fine, it's like, in, like, this range a little bit, like, the peak is 8, which is fine, but I would have thought it would have beaten the peak by now, but I don't know if it's going to go any higher on Billboard charts, um, but we'll have to see. I want you to know that I'm all yours. This is my heartbeat song and I'm going to play it, been so long, I forgot how to turn. Okay, this song has been around, like, 30, 20 five is strange for quite a bit on billboard charts and honestly okay here's my reasoning it did go down billboard charts there's these two songs that are just roasting so much that are knocking this down two spots yeah this definitely is going down i'm pretty sure this is the biggest dropper with both i think there's another biggest dropper though or maybe this title time of our lives you think yeah i think so so Actually, no, there's not a song that has the biggest dropper, but, oh, well, um, this definitely did go, had a really hard fall, um, if it drops any more on Billboard charts, it's definitely still gonna keep going down, um, I think it'll definitely make it to next week, but maybe not for 11 weeks, we'll have to see, though. <laughs> I still do really love the song because it's on my because it's on my list. Like I really do love the song, but it is um it is pretty old now and it's slowly dropping on Billboard charts. So I think it's definitely gonna slowly drop on mine. Um, maybe fifteen weeks. Maybe no, fifth. It'll be gone for another maybe four or five weeks. I think so. Um, Taylor Swift's a little style though, so I think Taylor Swift will be on my list for quite a bit still. So. If the high was worth the pain Got a long list of ex-lovers They'll tell you I'm insane Yeah, this song is a pretty big con too Five, it's con five spots So, yeah, I have to count I'm very bad at math Um, well, it did it did climb too, and it's almost in top 10 on Billboard. If that is makes top 10, it's gonna definitely gonna get a big boost. So, this could possibly be a future number one. I actually don't think it'll be number one, but I think it could definitely be top five. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll have to see. a very big drop too like maybe four or three weeks ago it was number one that was number one for five weeks and now it exited the billboard um, top 10 so yeah it's definitely gonna get a big drop on mine it's just in in top 10 um i think it was just a really big drop this week um i think it's slowly gonna start dropping um just don't stick about it yet i think it's slowly gonna drop if it does get a big drop in Bobo, like to the 18, 17, yeah, I think it could drop five, four spots. Um, but we'll have to see. It's so Friday. I'm just trying to make it back.
this is the biggest drop with like nine spots, I think. No, seven spots. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, this did. I was actually surprised that it did drop a lot of Billboard charts. Um, as you can see, I made a reaction video um, to the Billboard Top 10. Um, just watch it, please. It's on my channel. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but this definitely is going to get a big drop for me. Also, it is. I really do love this song, like, I do basically know all the lyrics to the song now, but still, it's still dropping on Billboard charts, there's still these two songs that had a big climb, so there's many, many reasons why this has dropped, um, so yeah, I don't know how many weeks this will last, but we'll have to see. <laughs> So yeah, this is the only reason it really dropped is because, again, there's these two songs that have been climbing a lot. So yeah, that's really the only reason why this dropped. It's still sitting the same on Billboard. So I think it, if, if it makes top 10 again, this could go back to top 5 possibly. We'll have to see. Again, just these two songs that have climbed so much, and yeah, it's gonna pop this down two spots. So the only reason it did drop one on Billboard charts, but that's not really a big difference at all. So yeah. Yeah, this is a now in top 20 on Billboard charts, 16, and this, this could possibly enter top 10 on Billboard, possibly, so yeah, it's gonna go up, um, three spots on mine, basically because it's in climb into top 20 number 16 on billboard so yeah i think it's gonna get a little bit of a boost there um if, if it goes up any higher it's gonna possibly it's so close to top five um but we'll have to see if it's gonna make top five i don't know if it will we'll have to see Yeah, this is definitely um, getting a big boost for making top 10 on Billboard. I was so happy when it did. So, yeah, it's definitely getting a humongous boost on mine. Um, I do really love the song. I'm not not that much as you can tell. Like, because if I love it so much, it would be number one. Um, it's still a really good song, though. That's why it's top five. So, congrats for making top five. This did have a pretty big climb as well, and it's just only number four in mine, but, and those charts only 26, so as you can tell, I really, really do love this song. There has been rumors though, like circling around, that it's like, kind of sexist because like Mike and Trainer and her lyrics are just like just portraying that like that's what girls do, they buy groceries and stuff. I don't really think that's really what she meant, but I know why people think that. Um but that's not the reason. <laughs> um but I do really love this song still without like the lyrics. But um I do, 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 really, really, really love the song. Super catchy. Um, some people say she's been copying, um, from this other song. Um, it does sound similar, but it's, like, I really, like, because let's take in count, um, Blurred Lines and the other song by, um, I don't know. Just that song that they, like, got lost to by copying. Yeah, the tune was pretty well the same, but the lyrics were totally different. So... I, th I don't really think that it was necessarily copying, but maybe she got the idea from the other guy, but still, 
I still love the song with all these like downfalls to it. I still love it. Okay. Um. So yeah. So yeah, style um loses her number one spot, drop to number three after being number one for two weeks. Um, it did drop and it's number ten on Billboard charts, which is really the only reason. Also, there's this one song that again had a big boost, um, that making us fall even more. And if this does exit top ten on Billboard, this could definitely exit top five on mine. Um, so yeah, Taylor Swift had a really bad week. Um, so far with blank space and this dropping, um, but yeah. One last time was literally gonna be number one. There was just one song though that did manage to beat it, but. Yeah, this was so close, number one, but Sally did not. Um, it made top 15 on Billboard charts, congrats. Um, it, and also, it's new peak uh, for one last time at number two, which is great. Um, it could possibly be number one. But so there's this other song that's really, had a really big boost, which I'll talk, which will be coming up now. So yeah, this is the new number one getting humongous boost, climbing I think that's like 19 spots. So yeah, um, this is our new number one on Billboard, and I definitely agree with Billboard on this one. Um, I don't know if it's just me, like, I think last week I said it was a good song, not the best ever, but honestly this song has really grown on me since. Um, because this one, like, last time I said it, like, it might have had, like, 18,000, 18 million views on YouTube. Probably not even. Now it has over, like, 60 million last time I checked, so that's crazy. Um, so yeah, this song's definitely getting a big boost. Um, so, I'm, I'm glad this is the number one. It's the first male number one, at, um... There's four number ones, and this is one out of the four. Um, so females have three number ones, and males have one number one. So, yeah, I don't really know why I do like female singers more. The female singers, they're more boppy, but some of their lyrics are really dumb. Uh, for males, they're a little bit more serious, except the rappers, but... Um, so I do really like this song, and I'm very glad it's the number one on Billboard and mine. Um, I made a reaction video, um, again, please watch it, um, where I literally freaked out when this got number one and beat up Town Funk. Um, hopefully it'll stay number one um, on Billboard. If it does stay on Billboard, it could definitely stay on mine. But with the one last time coming up, and I def I think I do like one last time slightly better than this. So one if one last time is coming up and it's gonna come in top ten, this could definitely uh, bop it down. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I'll end it off with some more see you again. And also, the votes cannot be counted this time. There's not enough. Um, oh, and thank you, Sean's Fresh Chart. Um, I'll put his channel on the link below. Um, he's really helping me gaining popularity. Um, so thank you very much. So, yeah, so here is, um, the end of the song. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye.